Welcome back. The new Ama Zulu king has officially assumed his duties. King Misu Zulu Kazweletini ascended the throne in accordance with the wishes of his mother, Queen Manfomi Lamini Zulu, who passed away recently. Now, government is currently preparing for his coronation. ENCA senior reporter Sifa Mandla Goge has more details on today's meeting about that coronation. He joins us now live from Kwanong Goma. So, uh, what is the KwaZulu Natal Premier saying about this meeting earlier, Sifa? He says his administration came here, one, to assure the king that they are going to work with him, but also, number two, to process the issues of the paperwork that is needed leading up to that much-anticipated coronation. Remember that for the king to be formally and officially recognized by government, it needs to start with the premier's office. As we speak in terms of the administration and the setup, the royal household is located at the office of the premier. So Sikhle Zigalala coming here as the premier of Guazilu Natal is significant because he came here to discuss the issue of processing the paperwork from here to his office, to the minister of Cogta, all the way to the presidency, so that that certificate of recognition for the king can be signed and handed over to the king as he is about to be coronated moving forward. So the premier came here to outline the process, but also how the royal household works together with the office of the premier. But his meeting comes at the back of the confusion that has been caused by reports about withdrawal of the SAPS stationed here at Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. That is one of the issues that was discussed between the premier and the king himself. But let's listen to the premier of Wazuru Natal, Sihle Zigalala, explaining about the meeting. The purpose was to clarify how the government works with the royal house as a whole. It is known that uh, the royal house uh, is under the premier's office in terms of governance and the administration. Uh, and then the premier's office is expected to provide support to his majesty and to the royal house as a whole as it has been always happening so we're here to deal with such issues as to how we provide that and ensure that it is not disrupted but more than that we were here to ensure that as there were reports about the withdrawal of the security and all issues we wanted to confirm for ourselves that there is no such a thing uh, there was never there was no, uh, there was, uh, no point where the security was withdrawn. And you can see for yourself, uh, it is not withdrawn, it is here. And we will continue to support the Royal House as a whole in ensuring that they continue with their work uh, to the Zulu uh, people. This, of course, was a concern. So what's Prince Mangosu Chupitulezi saying about the King's security? He says the matter has been dealt with, it's been clarified because the Provincial Commissioner of the Police in Guazulu Natal, General Ntlantla Mkwana, was also part of the meeting between the King, Prince Mangosutu Butelezi, and the police. He clarified that the only unit that was withdrawn was what is known as the TRT, which is a backup which was added to the king's convoy or security. That's the only unit that was asked to stand down, but the rest of the police personnel were left here at Wakangela Mankengane Royal Palace. Also earlier on, we were able to have a word with General Tatlam Kwanaz himself, who says the police will continue to be present here. But Prince Mangosu Tubutelezi says that issue has been clarified because it caused a lot of confusion. Listen to him. The message from His Majesty King Msuati that he had to convey to me. So even then, Brigadier uh, Hadebe went on to say that no, after that meeting, then he, he should go. So the idea that he, he should go is something hap that happened actually here, that he should be whisked away because he was not protected enough. And I even as a South African got very jealous that the implication was that the Swazi police could better protect our king than our own police here. You know? So that man started there. So I'm glad that the commissioner confirmed that he did, in fact, give instruction that some policemen should go. But he said that 
the distinction that he didn't say all policemen, including those that were permanently here, should go. And what's the Prime Minister uh, saying about the purpose of uh, the meetings and tomorrow's meeting in particular? It's meant to bury the tensions that have been playing out in the public between Zulu royal family members. It's been asked for by the late king's siblings who want to meet with the new king. We understand that tomorrow the new king will be basically unveiled and introduced to all Zulu royal family members. Listen to Prince Mangoso Tuptelezi. The meeting of tomorrow has come about because Prince uh, Moniz and Princess Temi wanted to talk to me when they came here to pay their respects to the king. We should have a sit-down meeting with the family so that we can formally, uh, I hope, smoke the pipe of peace. So that meeting uh, has come about because of that. Our senior reporter, Sipa Mandla Goge, in Kwanongoma.